Good morning, Draven here. Get the game up. <clears throat> okay, we are going to give Warhammer 40k Mechanicus a go. Um, I have the uh, Heretic DLC as well. Um, so we shall see how it plays out. I haven't played this before. Uh, I have had it for quite a while. In fact, it appears I bought it on Steam and on uh, Epic <laughs> by accident. So, <laughs> um, I'm not very. I play a lot of strategy games, but I'm not very good at them. So, even though I like them, so let's just um, start up a new game here. Um, we shall put it on. Leave it on normal. Uh, I think we shall leave the tutorial on because I haven't. As I say, I haven't played at all. I loaded up to this stage yesterday just to make sure it actually ran <laughs> and uh, would stream okay. Uh, we are not having Iron Man and we are not having Permadeath. We shall leave Heretic on. The 41st millennium, a time of darkness and war. The Imperium of Man claims the whole galaxy in the name of the God Emperor. It fights an endless war against Xenos from without, heretics from within, and supernatural horrors from beyond. Alongside the Imperium's war fleet serve the Adeptus Mechanicus. They are the tech priests of Mars, guardians and reclaimers of humanity's technology, ever certain for remnants of knowledge from man's glorious past, exploring the depths of the galaxy for worlds long lost to mankind. In the name of their machine god, they manufacture their imperial war machines from within gigantic foundries known as Forge Worlds. Gradually, the tech priests of the Adeptus Mechanicus shed their human weaknesses, replacing their limbs and organs with machinery that is both stronger and spiritually pure. Their leaders, the inscrutable Magi, protect the Forge Worlds and explore the furthest corners of the galaxy with their cohorts of Skitari troops. It is a time of warfare, tragedy, and portents of doom. Across this benighted galaxy, the Adeptus Mechanicus are one of mankind's last defences against a new Dark Age. Or perhaps they will be the ones to hasten its dawn. So this is uh, Ruditus. He's talking to this guy over here. An echo in the no sphere or the new sphere. Made us an old transmission lost in the warp and recovered only now. I've played a lot of Warhammer games. Um, I'm not very good with their um, history, maybe. <laughs> in the so. If I don't pick up on stuff, it's just because of my bad memory and other things. Faustinius is it worthy of our attention? The Great Divide torments the galaxy. The resources of the Adeptus Mechanicus are stretched thin. We are weaker than ever, though the Imperium at large knows it not. This represents an unknown but possibly key to victory. An opportunity to research, perhaps avert the ill fate that has befallen us. I like his book. The transmission's origin is Silva Tenebus, part of the Amasis Solaris, with an Ultima Segmentum. Search the rolls, Reditus, gather them. Four months later. <laughs> oh, 
I'll just check my stream is actually running okay because I don't have my laptop because it's down. The hard drive, there's something wrong with it. I'll, no, it's probably just disconnected or something. I need to take the laptop to bits to get inside the. None of these easy slide open covers on it. Typical HP. Just make sure this is running. It is. Okay. So I usually have my laptop set up <laughs> with my moderator panel on it. Uh, right. Whoever finds this transmission and follows me here, I give thanks that you will see what I have seen. But be wary, my fellow seekers of knowledge. Whatever lies beneath this world, I fear, I hope, I have awoken it. I came to this world to investigate its ruins, but I found so much more. Terrors, yes, threats to body and soul, but by the Omnissiah I found such wonders. This is Reshak. This is the last transmission of Major Vesak. He vanished while on an explore, explorator mission to investigate Xenos structures on Silver Tenebus. I like this effect. <laughs> Skevola. Hypothesis. He found something. Our mission on this world is to ascertain any Xenos presence and if we find it eliminated as a threat to the Imperium. The opening of the Great Divide means we can call on no additional support from the Forge Worlds. We must achieve this with the troops and resources we bring with us. Benefit Analysis. Peace for Sector. Knowledge for Mankind. Potential Opportunity. Use Videx. An opportunity to destroy the works of the Xenos, Gavala, not appropriate them. Them is scrying manuscripts, verse 619. What the enemy built, let it be made asunder, for to us it will be as a house of sand and knives. Magi, we are approaching the target coordinates. Looks like the ship is in trouble. Warp drive depleted. We are on the eastern fringe of Silva Tenebris. Whoa, right. I do like their spaceships. <laughs> We may end up moving my um, webcam, we'll see. Kepra. There she is, temperate climate, atmosphere standard, breathable. My Skatari troops should be able to operate down there without trouble. Are they ready to make landfall? As soon as we're in a stable orbit, Majos. Majos. Administrative records indicate a single colony. St. Eckhard's Hope on the surface near the Xenos ruins. No contact recorded in two centuries. Colony presumed failed. The Skatari will deploy to the surface near the ruins along with a team of tech priests under my direct command. I shall monitor them from the command thrown on board. Server skull of Editus will serve as my eyes on the surface. We make landfall at once. Yes, Majus. I'll set up a forward command post. Vizak's transmission looked like it came from underground. We'll secure any entrances to an underground structure so your tech piece can begin the exploration. Okay. 
Okay, so the Argo Lake sector has been located. This tomb reeks of stale, dusty antiquity. Its once stern architecture is littered with debris and tarnished with the patina of age. Sorry, patina. I do know that word <laughs> when I see it now. Here and there, fissures in the structure cast feeble light over cracked and tarnished metal. The tomb was once brutalist and oppressive, as if designed to crush the spirits of its inhabitants. It is no less intimidating now, but instead of evoking a merciless guiding intelligence, it speaks only of decline and of death. This place seems abandoned at first glance, but as the exploratory troops move through its hushed corridors, the ancient dust stirs and something long dead begins to take on a fast facsimile of life. Going by our fragmentary information, it looks like a buried tomb structure. Like got, it looks like we've got candles everywhere. Then the sword of the Omnissiah is ready to fall. We deploy immediately. Let's secrets of this world equal zero. By counsel caution, Majos Faustinus, Faustinius, our purpose should be here to destroy the threat of the alien, not to see, bask in its blasphemy. Aphorisms of the Logic Saint 7.91. In the presence of the Xenos lies the invisible miasma of corruption. Destruction is not possible from orb orbit, Fidex. The structure is too deeply buried and scavalar. I have no intention of plundering whatever trinkets I can find from this place. Explorator unit of tech priests is inside the tomb and ready to proceed with Majos. There is no telling what we will find. My men will hold the perimeter in case of the unexpected. I like, like the holographic map. It would be folly to commit our whole manpower to the unknown, especially when the potential of our moral threat exists that the Skatari are less able to withstand. I have the greatest respect for my Skatari, but they are still far from the extension that the Tech Priest affords. I agree, Subdominia. I shall lead the mission in person from the command throne. Sour Skull Veditus shall be my eyes and ears on the ground. Omni Messiah, be praised. We are going in. The Adeptus Mechanicus are a curious breed. They explore and interact with machines they do not fully understand. Within this tutorial, you will have to explore the interface to discover what to do, like a true tech priest. You must experiment in order to learn. Okay, see, so we're moving over to here, so this is obviously the tombs. Can we scroll it about? We're going there. These Xenos hieroglyphs, I know of them. The Necrons. They are my undoers, Necrons, mysterious, ill researched, corruptive. I like the like the churchy speaking <laughs> in the background as they're reading out. This could be a rare sample of the Necron language, Majos. We have barely any knowledge of it. Collecting data from this obelisk could move our understanding of the language ahead for the first time in centuries. This is work of the alien Majos. Codex Fulminatus 83.12 Show caution and scorn in all things. So, sometimes tech priests will feed back important information about what they encounter in a room. These situations will require you, our commander, 
to make decisions. There will be consequences, so choose wisely. Her head is an obelisk like object covered in what can only be described as a hieroglyphic symbol. It's almost reaches the tall ceiling of this chamber. Examine the inscriptions, check the surrounding chamber for potential dangers, destroy the obelisk. <laughs> uh, I think we'll just scrutinize. Uh oh. Something. We are detecting a massive energy spike from inside the tomb. Something's happening in there. Something huge. Doctor of Source detected, also known as Blackstone. Request collection immediate. As one of the tech priests kneels to get closer, look at the obelisk. It seems to react to the cohort's presence. The obelisk splits open and a powerful, painful wave of exotic energy spills out. Inside are clustered formations of a rare looking material. When are we actually going to. Oh, we're going to get a fight over there. Who have we got here? Apprentice Jeremiah, Majos Monarius, or Servitors. I guess we're going down here for the battle. Necrons. This act didn't encounter them after all. No wonder he didn't make it off this planet. Every datum we have says they are as deadly as they are inhuman. The cohort encounters resistance in the form of Xenos constructs. Not flesh and blood creatures, but artificial bodies that move with precision and coordination. Uh, we need either follow the established combat engagement protocols, it shall be done by the book. Extreme caution. Or take an aggressive stance. I think we should probably do this. The slow advance was grant and then the opportunity to execute an ambush. That's okay. I always liked the Necrons when I was playing the Dawn of War. <laughs> Kill all enemies. Xenos form detected. Confirmed. The Ditus Cognitars now function for synthetic forms. Finally, we can study this standard construct. Necron Warrior. Weak spots detected. None. Which is concerning. I wonder about the symbol emblazoned on their torsos. It must. Do not underestimate. God's weaponry, highly volatile. This is true, I've heard our brothers and sisters of the Mechanicus have lost their lives trying to solve the mysteries of these Xenos weapons. I approach with caution. It is also, double checking Corgnigators, widely known that they will self repair, reanimate, or reconstruct themselves if left the time to do so. Wounds that would instantly kill a Skatari. Or the equivalent to a class C grazed to Necrons. So this is like a tactical strategy game. Which I've never been very good at, but here we go. <laughs> at the start of every fight you must decide the location of your units on the field of battle. You can only place units on the highlighted squares. Click on a square to place a unit. So are we only able to move 
Oh no, we're moving the apprentice and the majors. Where's the bodies? One there. What does this do? Where are these towers? Right, I think Jeremiah has got a single target ranged attack. Not melee attack single ranged. What did he have on here? He didn't have a melee. But he's range 8 meters. What's his range? 15. I think he should be there. I want to see where the rest of the... Oh, I can't. <laughs> so there's only two of them. I think we should put him here so he can shoot, maybe shoot past that. Or there. I think we'll go there. And you, we're going to put here. So far my calm is in the right place, so we'll just leave it right there. What if I don't want to move? <clears throat> and I'm not just... Shoot. You select the weapon that is not in range of any target, okay. Look for the weapons icon to appear on your desired target or check the range of the weapon. Okay. I wonder what their range is. I want to know what this is. Oh, reinforcements. Is that Necron reinforcements? It looks like it, doesn't it? Okay. Uh, I want to park over here. <laughs> Can we do that on you? Oh, no. This is your shower skull, the skull of a faithful servant of the Omnissiah, augmented to be a useful companion. Every tech priest has their own servo skull. Several skulls are very helpful in combat and cognition point collection. Select an enemy to find out its battle stats. So, if we reveal the stats of this enemy, knowing your enemy's stats will greatly increase your chance of success. Oops, I clicked past it. <laughs> Several skulls reveal HP, physical armor, and energy. You can then decide what weapon types, physical or energy, work best against the target. Where do I see those stats? Oh, I see them here. Do I? Okay. I'm back to him. So we're not close enough. I could. I don't know what his weapon range is. What's his weapon range? He'd be in range there. I can't go there. I, can't, I want to go there. <laughs> um, how do we know what his weapon range is? This canticles. What's that for? Okay. Right, can we shoot after we move? Well, I think we should just stay there. Can we not just stay there? 
Is that his end turn? Yeah. Right, can you shoot him? Yeah. He's got a range 15. Oh, it reveals the target starts as well. Okay, so he's different. He's using. He's got energy protection. Not, not enough cognition points. Oh, right. You need two cognition points. Do we? Oh, so is that what these are? Plus one cognition. Ah. Why don't we go here? Here? Am I, gonna, I won't be able to shoot past that though, will I? So are we just confirming that we're going to move there? Yeah. We've just moved your tech priest to a source of cognition points. CPs represent the volu in valuable information the tech priests are harvesting. I keep wanting to press that, <laughs> so I haven't pressed it. There are several ways to collect CP. The fastest way is moving your tech piece close to the source of CP. Stored at the bottom of the screen in the CP gauge. CP are shared team resource, so plan ahead. Ah. Okay, and that needs two. Can I move to there and get the other one? That looks like. That's saying minus one. So I should have moved him to there. Oh, I don't want to use that. No, I don't want to go there. I want to cancel that. Right. I think we're just going to stay here. We can't shoot him. And even if we move... No, let's just stay there. Oh, there's another one over there. Ah, they've got long range on their weapons. to call in other members of the cohort as the battle goes on. This will, will happen at the start of every round. You'll need cognition points to deploy troops. But I want to fire my weapon. <laughs> I guess we um, we need to get over here and start shooting. I think we're going to take both in. Done. The mechanic is there are two types of units to control. Tech priests, the units you already have commanded, or troops such as the ones which you've just deployed. Troops are your servants and cannon fodder. They don't have access to as many weapons and skills as tech priests. However, they are useful and should not be overlooked. What's this they've got? Single tart melee. Okay, let's go there. Attack him. Damage absorbed. He's the oh, see so he t he can't he can absorb melee damage. So that's a waste of time. They should be going that way to get this other guy. We need to take him out. I'm learning. You're heading this way. <laughs> Oh, 
Right, you. Oh, I can actually fire my gun, but I'm not close enough. If I go, if I go there, I am though. Three damage. Wow. Well, it took him down to half health. Right, you need to go and collect more of this stuff. And stay there. We can't do anything against him. Yeah, out of range. When servitors are hit in combat, tech priests take an interest, quickly noting their damage angles, projectile speeds and other useful combat information to be used later against the enemies. This is represented by gaining a cognition point. Servitors are useful units in all your missions. When an enemy moves out of melee range, providing your unit has a melee weapon, the enemy will trigger an opportunity attack. An opportunity attack gives your unit a free melee attack on an enemy. Once per round. But it's no use because he won't take any... Oh, he did take damage that time. So we've got a re reanimation protocol. When a Necron is in a reanimation protocol, they're unable to fight but will return to fighting conditions soon. Okay, so we need to do more damage to them to kill them completely. I could summon another one and then use his gun. I think we'll do that. Um, we may as well hit him. And he's gone. The Necron you just attacked has been teleported away to somewhere far beyond our reach. In practical terms, this means you have killed the target. Right, we need to go get this guy. Can we not move him to there? I want to move him to there. Yeah, this is. No, I went up that way. <laughs> up, up, up. Right, we're gonna go here. Can't do anything. Well, that's out of reach, isn't it? Um, but I could go here. get the CP point. That's out of range, so we shall just end our turn. Okay, we can scroll them up that way. <laughs> Let's just move up by his side and uh, do our servo arm. One damage. He's only got shield against NG weapons. So I would have expected that to have done more damage, really. We can still move, can we? Yeah. 